Hey everybody, thought I'd make a video today on something I really haven't touched on on my channel, and that is out-of-place artifacts. These are finds that seem to indicate humans have not only been around for tens of thousands of years, but hundreds of thousands of years. And uh, the one person that has really brought this attention to my mind is Michael Cremo. He has spent basically his lifetime researching um, documented evidence that humans have been around for um, a long, long time, a lot longer than uh, we can imagine or believe. And I thought this article was pretty interesting that I found here. This came out about five days ago, so other channels might have touched on this, but I just wanted to make a video about it. It says, this is from Epic Times, I'll leave the link below, it says, 150,000 year old pipes baffle scientists in China. Out of place in time, question mark. And here is a picture of the region where these pipes were found and a picture of one of the pipes. It says this, Upart, or out of place artifact, is a term applied to dozens of prehistoric objects found in various places around the world that seem to show a level of technological advancement incongruous with the times in which they were made. Uparts often frustrate conventional scientists, delight adventurous investigators open to alternative theories, and spark debate. In a mysterious pyramid in China's Quanghai province, now I'm going to butcher some of these words, so I'm just apologizing for that in advance here, but it says, in a mysterious pyramid in China's Quanghai province near Mount Bangang are three caves filled with pipes leading to a nearby saltwater lake. There are also pipes under the lake bed and on the shore. The iron pipes range in size with some smaller than a toothpick. The strangest part is that they may be, may be about 150,000 years old. Dating done by Beijing Institute of Geology determines these iron pipes were smelted about 150,000 years ago if they were indeed made by humans, according to Brian Dunning of Skeptoid.com. If they were made by humans, history, as it is commonly viewed, would have to be reevaluated. Yes. And it goes on to say this. The dating was done using thermoluminescence, a technique that determines how long ago crystalline min mineral was exposed to sunlight or heated. Humans are only thought to have inhabited the region for the past 30,000 years. Even with the known history of the area, the only humans to inhabit the region were nomads whose lifestyles would not leave any such structures behind. The state-run news agency in China reported on the pyramid, the pipes, and research began by a team of scientists sent to investigate in 2002. Though some have tried to explain the pipes as natural phenomenon, Yang Hai, a research fellow at the Chinese Academy of Social Scientists, told that the pyramid may have been built by intelligent beings. He did not dismiss the theory that ancient extraterrestrials may be responsible, saying that this theory is understandable and worth looking into, but scientific means must be employed to prove whether or not it is true. Another theory is it was built by prehistoric humans with techniques lost to humans of a later period. It says the pipes lead into a salty lake, though a twin lake nearby contains fresh water. The surrounding landscape is strewn with what Xinhua described as strangely st shaped stones. Rocks protrude from the ground like broken pillars. The head of the publicity department at the local government told Xinhao that the pipes were analyzed at a local smeltery and 8% of the mineral or the material could not be identified. The rest was made up of ferric oxide, silicone dioxide, and calcium oxide. The silicone dioxide and calcium oxide are products of a long interaction between iron and surrounding sandstone, showing the ancient age of the pipes. Lu Shaluan, the engineer who did the analysis, said this result has made the site even more mysterious. He said, nature is harsh here. There are no residents, let alone modern industry in the area, and only a few migrant herdsmen to the north of the mountain. To add further to the mystery, a geology research fellow from the China Earthquake Administration told state-run newspaper People's Daily in 2007 that some of the pipes were found to be highly radioactive. So I just wanted to make a video on this. It seems to be you know, a strange report about a strange find that seems to throw uh, confusion into uh, how long humans have actually been around. Um, when dating has been done on something and it comes out to be very, very ancient, you kind of scratch your head 
and you wonder if this to be true. But uh, once again, Michael Cremo has spent his life investigating out-of-place artifacts from hundreds of thousands of years ago that seems to question what we believe to be our standard model of history. And uh, lately we have been amazed by the finds at Go Beckley Tepe that prove that it's 12,000 years old, and it kind of proves that time is cyclical, and if time is cyclical, maybe human history goes back farther back than we can believe or even imagine. So I just thought this was interesting, 150,000-year-old pipes in China. Hope you thought this was cool. Have a nice day.